Good morning all, this is Jim AG6IF. Uh, today I want to show you a little tool that kind of makes PSK31 a whole lot more fun. It's called PSK Reporter. It's a website, uh, pskreporter.info. And that's what the website looks like. Um, the idea is when when stations hear other stations on PSK and report up to this website, you can see where they are. So hit them. I'll give you a demonstration here. Hit the map display link right there. And the map's going to come up. First thing you want to do is go into display options over here and get rid of some clutter on the screen. And this is just personal preference, but I select hide faint monitors, the first one hide the pink blob it will actually show you where where your antenna is clustered on or, or more effective uh, hide the night shadow and the city lights uh, and then okay so once you do that you check those things you exit out this is an example of the stations that my station has reported to the website over the last two hours these dots here indicate and you can hover over them other ham stations that my antenna has picked up and then my computer here has sent this data into this website uh, there's all the way down uh, you can get a little closer here so just in the last couple of hours you can adjust the time frame also all the way up to 24 hours so if I open that up to 24 hours you're gonna see dots all over the all over the map that my station has been able to see my my HF PSK 31 station now what you're noticing here is this screen refreshes the dots represent stations that my my radio heard all down in New Zealand all into Russia over here Europe all over the US these flags, these colored flags, represent stations that heard my station when I was transmitting. And the color of the flag in the hours, nine hours ago, so last night, it's, it's morning time at the moment, represent up here 40 meters. The blue color. 20s would be yellow. Uh, you can go, here's all the different bands, and here's how many people are on each of those bands reporting into the website. That's what that shows. So you can use that information uh, um, without even having a radio just to go see which band is working well. Uh, they're sorted by how many people are using it. So 20 meters is the top right now. So what I'm going to do is switch my time frame back to uh, an hour here. And... Uh, hit the go button so in the last hour you get a kind of idea what the band is doing here we got all the stations I haven't made any transmissions today so if I go over to my uh, program of choice FL Digi happens to be mine and I'm gonna s click on the waterfall here and I'll send out a CQ um, and sending now within a couple of minutes when you go back over to that web page it's not instantaneous, but it's pretty close. Uh, you're going to see, uh, in this case, yellow flags show up on that map that here are my station. Now you can just kind of refresh. I'm using Firefox here. If you just refresh this page, um, it will resize and include all of the dots and flags. If you just hit the go button, it's, it doesn't resize. It just stays right where it is. So if you hit refresh, it, it does, uh, it'll re-zoom to include any station, any dots, any data. So while we do that, um, waiting for someone to report up, if, if they heard me. What I like to do is start with low power. I'm using one watt here. And then you can go to the map and see how far one watt is going. Who can see you, you know, with one watt. If it goes a long ways, then the band is good and really open. And, and uh, then it's a lot more fun, of course. If 
you need 40 watts to talk to your next door neighbor, it's not so much fun. <laughs> now let's refresh again here. Okay, now as you can see, you got a couple yellow flags out here. Now these stations heard my transmission and using their computer and internet connection have reported up to this website my call sign. And that website then places this yellow flag corresponding to 20 meters out on the map. So with one watt you can hover over these guys. Uh, November 9 DFD heard me and KW0G heard me. Now if you were to zoom in you can kind of tell where they're at but it's just a Google map. You can drag this around. So uh, let's see. Nebraska and Atlanta or, or Georgia uh, actually heard my one watt transmission. So you can actually spin around in the bands, send out a CQ or whatever on 40, 20, 15, 10, wherever you work. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can see who can see your transmission and how, how well the band is working. So a few more stations are checking in. Oh, look at this. Okay, one watt. This flag down here, this is exciting. New Zealand yellow flag <clears throat> 20 meters my my talented balance one watt loop antenna just went all the way to New Zealand and one watt okay let me say that again <laughs> one watt to New Zealand uh, and three other stations in the US have picked have picked that up now I've hit refresh now there's something really exciting about one watt to New Zealand from California. It's happened many, many times uh, to me, but it's still fun. It's a lot of fun. So here's my waterfall still, um, FL Digi. Sorry, this is a little bit longer video than I'm used to doing. Um, but I wanted to show PSKReporter.info because many people I've talked to recently haven't used it and they're working PSK and they're just not using it. So very exciting one watt down to New Zealand uh, on 20 meters just now. If I go back and send out another CQ here. So, power meter. We're almost, uh, almost done here. Here we go. The transmitter is going to stop in a sec here. Okay. There we go. And it's, again, it takes a few minutes sometimes for the stations to report. Um, the way FL Digi is, becomes a spotting station is right up here. There's a button that says spot. And to be a spotting station, you first have to go in and configure, if I can find it real quick, I don't remember exactly which tab it's on, but there's a, there's a spotting tab in here, um, if I can find it. And what you have to do is you have to uh, run the test on there. I'm looking, sorry, I'm looking for it on the fly here. Miscellaneous, is it miscellaneous? Miscellaneous spotting. Click on spotting. And there's the website, report.pskreporter.info, port 4739. Automatically spot call signs in decoded text. It's checked. Send a reception report when logging in QSO. That's optional. But you must hit the initialize button and it checks it to make sure it works. And once you do that, if you leave your PSK31 uh, uh, FL Digi program running and your rig on, of course, you have to leave your rig on, which I do all the time, you can come up to the spot button and press that, it turns green, and then any stations it hears wherever your radio is tuned in this in this data here that's coming across it will pick the call signs out and it will send it to the website which benefits everyone so consider donating a little back if you want uh, to the to the website by becoming a spot station uh, so let's take one more quick look at pskreporter.info we'll refresh one more time and uh, by golly we'll see what we got more stations some some are more quickly uh, updating than others. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of flags all over the U.S. now 
from my one watt transmission about five minutes ago two minutes ago there's a station two uh, but my favorite one must absolutely have to be the New Zealand station that heard my station if I hover over it Zulu Lima 2 Foxtrot Tango ZL2 FT could hear me um, so he's running a spot station and uh, heard my call sign woohoo that is fun I gotta tell you that's a lot of fun well sorry for the long video I thought this was kind of important uh, PSK reporter info along with um, PSK 31 FL Digi and so on uh, thanks for watching I hope you have a great holiday season it is December 22nd and uh, whatever you do for the holidays I hope you do it and enjoy with your family and so on uh, very nice to be able to chat with y'all uh, it's fun being a ham radio operator let me tell you my name is Jim Southern California AG6IF73s thanks for watching